Today is Black Friday, which means that there are a lot of discounts going on, also in the plugin market. And before you are going to run out and buy all these discounted plugins, I first want you to check uh, if the plugin is actually discounted or if they are just faking a discount, which is happening a lot on Black Friday. And second of all, if it's a plugin that you actually need. And in order to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to share my top 10 favorite plugins right now. So let's get started. All right, so before I'm going to jump through the list, I want to quickly say that this video is not sponsored at all. It may look sponsored or something, um, but all of these plugins are plugins that I'm actually using in my day-to-day -day workflow. And some of them I actually have discovered over the last year. And I'm going to, of course, give my own reasons for why I recommend a certain plugin. This all comes from my own. What is also good to disclose beforehand is that there will be a few affiliate links in the description down below. Whenever it's possible for me to share an affiliate link, I will do that. And that way my channel can stay independent and community driven instead of being annoying with ads or sponsored content. Now let's move on to the first plugin. And this is actually one that I've discovered during this year. It's the Sonable Smart Limit. And when I say discovered, it doesn't mean that I didn't know of its existence. I discovered the usefulness of the plugin. I already knew this plugin was very useful, but I've basically switched fully from the FabFilter Pro L2 that I've used, well, basically since they made it. And before that, I used the Pro L, the, the former one from FabFilter, but I switched to this one for a few reasons. The first one is, of course, it's AI uh, listening, whatever uh, is on there. Let me quickly show you this. So I've got a funk track here. So we're having it listen to funk. There we go. And it does a lot of things immediately. It first of all sets up our peak limiting to streaming standards, which is minus 1 dB true peak. It gives us a few very interesting controls and loudness monitoring, which is real time. Like, watch this. I just switch this and it immediately changes it over here. Like, I don't even need to wait for it. It immediately gives me a ref estimation and of course a fine view in the middle the smaller X there. And down here, our fine adjustments are just something that I really like. Uh, it's not very difficult. We can choose for harder or softer limiter. We can decide how many saturation we want. And you can immediately see the graph here in the background changing. So you can see that more saturation will lead to a louder sound. You can also see that over here. Same goes for balance, which is an EQ spectral type of balance. And of course, bass control, which just adds a little bit of extra bass, which are just like, most limiters don't have these type of settings on there. And of course, another cool feature on here is the distortion monitoring. Really great to look at it if your monitoring isn't that well done. It is, I think at this moment, my favorite plugin from Sonable. Now, plugin number two is a plugin that Sonable actually also makes with the Smart EQ, but I prefer to use the Pro Q3. And do I really need to introduce Pro Q3? Uh, what I just really like is just the, the ease of use of this user interface. It's just, you know, out of this, out of this world, how easy to use this user interface is and how simple and versatile everything is in here. It's just the best, most versatile EQ there is. I mean, do I really need to explain anything else about it? Number three is not necessarily a plugin, although it does come as a some sort of a plugin bundle. It is Isotope RX. And again, I'm being honest here, I'm not even running the latest version. And the latest version probably has a few other features, but again, I'm sharing what I have on my work system here, not on my review uh, system. And one of the features that I've discovered in here is the music rebalance feature. Actually, it's still at the setting that I use it the most on. I've used this setting not to rebalance music, but actually to kill 
spill in an acoustic guitar uh, or other type of recording. The most recent one was an acoustic guitar. And this created the ability for me to do so much more with the recording. It was a recording with an acoustic guitar and a vocalist and the vocal needed some extra treatment and there was a lot of spill of that vocal on the guitar so I didn't have a lot of control and I was just, you know, trying certain solutions out and what I did is just drag down the vocals to minus infinity, rendered it over the whole acoustic track. Of course I was able to hear some artifacts but when mixed back into the music and with that vocal, the direct vocal together again, you couldn't hear the artifacts anymore and it blended so much better. So a little bit of a tip uh, of a very specific thing to use in iStop RX, but it's really killing the spill uh, in a recording. Now the fourth one is a plugin. It is the Alpha Compressor. And this is a little bit of a sad story because I'm just using this plugin because I would love to have the real one, but I simply cannot afford it. and the next best option is to use the plugin then. I've been using this for years already. This is not something that I've recently discovered. I've been using this for years and it's just one of my favorite hardware compressors. And of course, it's emulation is the next best thing. Same goes for number five on the list, uh, which is the Fairchild 670 emulation from Universal Audio. The same thing is going on here, although I think I will never be able to afford a Fairchild, at least not a real one. But it's the next best thing compared to a hardware unit. I do have a new hardware Fairchild clone coming soon, if everything goes right, uh, which might replace this plugin, for me at least, because this one is going to be affordable and if it performs as good as I think it performs, then this plugin is going out because I hate the user interface. Next one, and this one is out for a bit longer than a year already, I think, is the Eventide Split EQ. I call this the three-dimensional EQ. I've recently recorded a tutorial about this EQ because it's, it's you know, it does a lot of different things. So I'll make sure to link the tutorial over here. What you basically can do is you can separate the transient and the tonal parts of music and EQ them separately. So what you can now hear is that I'm only EQing transients. You can also choose to only EQ the tonal. And then I'm not boosting a lot in the high frequency because there isn't a lot of tonal content going on in the high frequencies. And I use it on mixes, uh, for instance, when mastering and I need to fix a few small things, uh, I use it in such a situation. Or on individual tracks, uh, it works really great to create a little bit more punching kick drums, um, to fix uh, ringing in snare drums, reducing pops and clicks in vocals. There's so much stuff that you can do with this and it's just it's it's really looking at audio from a direction that we are not used to looking at and there are a few more plugins in this style uh, but i really prefer this one because the user interface is just very clean and very uh, easy to use which is something i'm sensitive for now another one and this one is something that i've recently discovered this one is not out for a long time yet but it is the smart gate and uh, on this thing i'm right now I'm gating a kick. And that doesn't sound like a big deal. Like we can gate a kick with a traditional, maybe even an analog gate. However, if I bypass it, you will hear that I'm also sending a snare to this channel. And it's just able to isolate the kick. It's of course a gate, so if the snare would hit at the same time as the kick, you will hear the snare as well. So it's not doing some like magic separation or something. No, it's just very good at detecting uh, what is going on. And for this demo, I'm sending a direct snare to this just to show you how well this works. Because if you try to do this with a traditional gate, good luck. One of the things that has been happening for the last years is people recording at home, uh, recording in less than ideal situations, which basically they're using smaller rooms, most of all for drums, to, to record the drums in, and that creates way more spill on the individual microphones. And having a gate that can handle that is just such a blessing, basically. Now, I do realize that this video is uh, aimed to show you good plugins that there might or might not be a deal on uh, during Black Friday. However, the plugin that I'm now going to show is free. 
Uh, it's the M Freeform Face from Melda Production. And it is part of the M Free FX bundle, which is a free bundle which you can upgrade for 24 euros which basically removes a little little nag bar and uh, down the bottom here i did buy that bundle uh, myself because it's a very handy bundle to have and i think it's just fair to pay 24 euros for tools that you are actually using what this thing can do is it can adjust the phase of your signal per frequency and i use this a lot uh, when aligning certain instruments together it doesn't have the best user interface where you have to draw the face response i mean i would love to have a bit more uh, pro q like interface on this but at least it can do certain tricks that uh, you cannot do in other situations so uh, yeah i use this and i usually draw a curve in here and then use the depth control to fine tune it and um, that is that's how i use it it's a very simple and small plugin but it's Again, it has helped me a lot of times. And whenever I need to do this analog, by the way, I can't keep it within 10 things. I have to talk about more things than 10. When I need to do it analog, I use the radial phaser, which doesn't have a per frequency control, but it does have a stepless uh, phase control where I can just, you know, fine tune the phase of a signal. Number nine is the plugin that destroyed my studio during the review of it. I'll link it <laughs> over here. Uh, it is the uh, subgen from SSL, and this is a subharmonics generator. And before I had this plugin, uh, I basically still used a simple uh, sine wave generator and a gate with a sidechain uh, connected to it. However, I realized that that was a bit old fashioned to do. And uh, this is just way easier and quicker uh, to control. Um, the cool thing about SSL plugins is yes, they do make skeuomorphic interfaces. So with like the analog looking knobs and buttons, but they do keep usability in mind a lot. So they add extra features like this to really give you mouse and keyboard control like we can also type in here and all that kind of stuff if you look a little bit deeper it's a very well designed user interface and it's a very very handy plugin and the subgen is actually from all the plugins for that ssl makes like they make a lot of awesome plugins but this is the one that actually sticked around and is the one that i'm using i wouldn't say regularly but whenever i need to use something like this most of the times i'm able to do it with the analog gear or whatever but whenever i really need to get a little bit more of that that that, that earthquake type of stuff in my production uh, i use the subgen from ssl now the last one number 10 is uh, a bit of a dangerous plugin it is the sonable true balance so what this thing does is it shows you the balance of your track so if i now reset it and play back this track compare this with electronic or funk it shows me the tonal balance of my song, that's the green line, and then in white, an average for that genre. And that really helps a lot during mastering, during figuring out like, hey, what do I want to do? What I use it a lot with is with my own reference tracks. So I have a lot of reference tracks in here. This was actually for a recent production that I did, uh, where I really had to match uh, certain tracks. And then it shows per color those lines and creates an average so that you can determine if you are within that or out of that and the way we actually used it was like this a bit smaller average actually um, now this is a very very cool plugin and it shows you a lot about your audio but and i did fall for this as well don't get caught up looking to this too much it is so easy to overanalyze using true balance it is a mistake that i made as well when i just had it i was just looking at it too much just use it as a check and if you think like hey i think there is a lot of high in my production for instance you open up true balance and if true balance shows you something like this then there probably isn't and you're just going crazy and you probably need to stop working and continue again tomorrow that's basically what i used for as well a little bit of an uh, analysis a little bit of comparing with reference tracks uh, and of course i'm also listening to those reference tracks as well and j just an extra check that is what it is for don't steer on what this thing is saying like if i would believe this curve i would now need to cut a little bit in this area to get that into the average but i'm not going to so 
And with that said, those were 10 plugins. And I think I named a few more while talking about this stuff. Um, but yeah, those are the 10 plugins that I like to use. Um, again, I don't know if they are going to be on sale or not. They probably will be on sale. And usually most plugins are actually on sale. So what does it matter? Whenever possible, there will be affiliate links in the description down below. And what could be cool to do for this video as well is all of you sharing your favorite plugins in the comments down below as well. And that way we can help each other. So share them down below. And if you agree with something that somebody else shared, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that it gets higher into the comment algorithm so that's all that i have to share today we have an awesome seven hour long video coming tomorrow so you might want to reserve some time for that but in the meantime you can check out this playlist if you want to become a member or this video if you just want to watch more for now thanks for watching keep pushing and bye bye